Hello everyone. Today we will talk about ascites. So what is the definition of ascites? Ascites is the abnormal accumulation of fluid within the peritoneal cavity and it's a common complication of portal hypertension and hypoalbuminemia. This portal hypertension is due to liver cirrhosis and acute liver failure. So how we define portal hypertension? Portal hypertension is a condition of increased portal venous pressure which is normal 5 to 10 mmHg. Why this increase happened? This increase happened due to some reason. First is prehepatic, posthepatic and hepatic. In prehepatic we have reason portal vein thrombosis. In hepatic we have liver cirrhosis and in posthepatic we have right sided heart failure. Next we have hypoalbuminemia. In hypoalbuminemia ascites occur due to nephrotic syndrome. We have many other conditions as well in ascites. First of all, chronic heart failure, inflammation of abdominal viscera like pancreatitis and malignancies. If we talk about the clinical features of this patient, it has progressive abdominal distension, shifting dullness and a positive fluid wave test and sometimes abdominal pain may be present in ascites due to an acute inflammatory etiology. Now how we diagnose it? Diagnosis is based on underlying etiology and determining whether the ascites fluid is infected or not. They include imaging. First of all, we do abdominal ultrasound and CT abdomen and pelvis. This is used to identify free intraperitoneal fluid and possibly for the underlying causes. We can also do diagnostic paracentesis with acetic fluid analysis. We can also check SAG. This is stands for serum ascites albumin gradient. And the difference between albumin level in serum and acetic fluid is essential to determine the underlying etiology. Now high SAG indicate secondary to portal hypertension. Ascites is secondary to portal hypertension while we have high SAG. If in acetic fluid we have neutrophil count greater than are equal to 250 cells per mm cube. This indicates spontaneous bacterial peritonitis (SBP). It has urgent management with empiric antibiotic therapy. For the management of ascites, we first identify and manage the underlying cause as well as dietary sodium restriction and diuretic therapy. Now, if we have tense ascites and refractory ascites, this requires therapeutic parasentesis. Liver transplant is also a treatment option for patients with cirrhosis who develop ascites. The next one is transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunts. This TIPS procedure is also helpful.